The interval. What is it and how do we measure it? The interval is the space between two pitches. If the two tones sound one after the other, we speak of a melodic interval, and if they sound together at the same time, we call that a harmonic interval. There are three ways of representing intervals, using quality and number, cent values and ratios. For instance, a major third is an interval name in which the term major describes the quality of the interval and third indicates its number. Intervals can be arbitrarily small and even imperceptible to the human ear. On instruments such as cello, there could be many different pitches in between C and C sharp. Intervals smaller than a semitone are called microtones. To be more precise in measuring distances between the pitches, especially when microtones are involved, we use cents. Cents were defined by an English mathematician and philologist Alexander John Ellis in 1884. He is also regarded as the founder of the field of ethnomusicology and he invented cents originally for the purpose of expressing non-Western scales. The cent is a logarithmic unit of measure used for musical intervals. Each semitone in our 12-tone equal temperament has 100 cents, so an octave, which has 12 semitones, would have 1200 cents. If we know the frequencies of two tones, we can easily calculate the number of cents between them. In physical terms, a musical interval is the ratio between two sonic frequencies. For example, any two notes an octave apart have a frequency ratio of 2 to 1, while a perfect fifth would have a 3 to 2 and a major third 5 to 4 ratio. We hope you've learned some new things today and enjoyed our talk on intervals. If you wish to learn more about music, make sure to watch our other videos.